let's discuss the development environment setup for uh, react native development using the help of expo cli so mainly expo cli will be discussed uh, over here but i will also give you an overview of react native cli that how can we set up the environment for the react native cli so expo cli is very quick and very easy to set up so let's see how we can do that so if we visit uh, expo.io and uh, here it is uh, it has actually uh, provided you some details that how you can do that and many are actually using that it has expo sdk 37 is now available and expo is actually improving day by day so if we go to the getting started and you can uh, uh, see that the same thing that on our slide the snack is a very interesting and uh, very flexible tool we will have a complete uh, discussion on uh, on uh, snack um, you can actually in in easy words we can do react native development in a web based environment and we can also see the output over there so that's actually the snack and you can also share your uh, source code you can share your project to your with your team with your friend with your colleagues and that's how it is so <clears throat> to start working with the um, expo you need to have uh, node.js installed definitely it's required because uh, ultimately it's react and react native and uh, for expo cli tool installation you can use npm and you can install expo cli globally so that it's available uh, on uh, anywhere uh, you can create your own uh, uh, first project with the help of expo so once expo is, is installed you can use expo uh, in it and the project name so it will actually create the project directory and then you can actually navigate into that and then you can do that you can run your project for the with the help of expo uh, st start or npm start you can uh, use both the commands to run that and you can actually start coding your uh, application so <coughs> Uh, this is uh, a kind of uh, failure normally uh, experienced by most of the users so let me tell you that the react and the react native projects by default they are actually a git repo repositories so uh, whenever they tried or your project initializations actually do the installations and try to install let's say for them expo cli or try to create a project it actually tried to create a git repository and it also uses git to uh, receive some uh, code and uh, uh, the installations from from with the help of git uh, because git git is a protocol it's not necessary that it is stored on a github but mostly it is stored in the github and uh, it actually pulls the code from there and tries to run that so for this it's important that you have git already installed on your machine those who are working on linux machine or the or ubuntu linux based machine or uh, even uh, they are working on mac so git would be available directly on your uh, machine so you can actually easily um, check if git is available or not so git is actually available on my machine and uh, uh, if it's not available uh, you need to uh, run uh, or install the git and the second thing is that you need to run a git bash as an administrator if you see some 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 errors like this while the installation of expo cli so this is a common uh, error which is actually experienced by most of the users while they are installing expo cli another thing is that you run your uh, git bash as an administrator so that you have full access for creating uh, directories and downloading and installations so you can run your uh, git bash let's say for example if you have installed git bash 
so you can run it as an administrator and then with the help of uh, this administrator rights you will be able to actually your uh, installation command will be able to write uh, all the files on your C drive so because you are installing globally so that's how actually you run and then you do the installations so once expo CLI tool is installed successfully you can check that uh, either it's installed or not <coughs> we can use uh, expo command to initialize our expo project so that is we write expo in it and the project name and it will ask you that what kind of template you want to use so you can choose to have a blank template uh, you can uh, with the help of blank template it will be a, it will have a very basic uh, structure for uh, building your application <coughs> and uh, uh, when you choose blank template it will ask for the name you just start typing and it will write your name over here and it will now will install all the dependencies so it will uh, uh, connect with the uh, with the server and then install all the uh, modules which is actually called node modules so you need to have uh, internet connection for this it will take a while and then your all the dependencies will be installed so once all dependencies are successfully installed uh, you can see something like this some some message like this to you, so that it it suggests you to navigate to your uh, app project and then you just try expo start or npm start to run your project so once you uh, even without uh, opening your project uh, code files you can actually go into or navigate into your uh, project uh, directory and then you can write npm start so when you run your project it will actually run an uh, expo server and it will actually build your project it will compile and then your project would be running you will see some output something like this on your machine and uh, <coughs> you see uh, something like this on a browser where it will actually uh, gives you a message that tunnel is ready so once the tunnel is ready it will build your uh, JavaScript bundles and when once all the bundles are ready it's uh, done it can uh, be scanned this QR code can be scanned using uh, expo client application on your uh, iPhone or your Android phone uh, you can scan that with the help of this and uh, uh, or you can run on Android device or emulator so if emulator is running uh, or your device is connected uh, you can actually uh, uh, scan this and then it will actually run your project basic project that's a common error normally uh, experienced by the Windows users when they are actually trying to run their uh, project with the help of npm start or expo start so it uh, actually crashes and gives you some errors uh, like regular expression although uh, expo uh, latest version of expo fix this error but maybe you are actually uh, downloading some uh, or pulling some project from github and you are actually trying to run that project uh, and that is that project is uh, developed based on old uh, version of expo which actually had this error so uh, let me tell you how to fix that issue of regular expression when you are running your project so you actually need to modify blacklist.js file which is uh, inside your uh, project directory you see node modules and uh, inside node module, modules you need to navigate to metro config uh, directory and uh, source directory and you need to go to default directory so this file is actually inside this and you need to open that file in this file you will see uh, that the backslashes are actually not provided so uh, there is much difference with the slashes when we are working on the windows or the linux or the mac machine so so that's uh, actually a smaller error so you need to fix that slashes and you need to actually uh, add a backslash over here and over here and over here 
so this will actually fix that and you just save that file and you close that file and this error will be resolved and you can run your application so once your project is running and you see a QR code and uh, you want to experience your application in your uh, physical mobile device so for the case of uh, Android phones you need to install uh, Expo client application available in Google Play Store so once you launch this application you see an option of scan QR code so when you uh, tap on this option scan QR code and uh, it will launch a camera the back camera of your phone and you can scan the QR code so when you scan the QR code it will actually start uh, downloading or building the JavaScript bundles and uh, once your application is uh, downloaded all the bundles are downloaded and there are no errors in your application and everything looks fine uh, you see this kind of output and uh, you see a, a message like this so uh, those who are having iPhone and they have Expo installed already as a client application from Apple Store uh, they can use camera application of iPhone and they scan the QR code and it will automatically launch uh, your application uh, inside the Expo client app for uh, the iPhone let's discuss the react native CLI environment setup uh, we need to uh, go to the react native dot dev and uh, we can go to the docs or get started uh, in this we can go to the environment setup and uh, we can see that how we can set up the environment for the react native CLI so these are the guidelines available so so when you come up over here so you have two options uh, Expo CLI quick start or react native CLI quick start so we already discussed uh, Expo CLI quick start we need to install Expo CLI and then we just initialize uh, the project uh, or create the project with the help of Expo init command and actually we are done that's it <coughs> but for react native CLI uh, we have several tools and options available that we need to look into so first we choose the development environment that uh, what kind of development environment we want to set up uh, what kind of operating system or platform we are uh, using f for developing react native application so let's say for example we are on windows and uh, definitely it can be the target os would be android for the mac we can choose uh, any of uh, these so first we need to install the dependencies so react native cli actually uses node python 2 and jdk which is java sc development kit and uh, there is uh, a good thing is that we have a chocolatey which is a very popular package to manage uh, the in installation of node python and um, jdk so we can actually use this command to install um, uh, the node uh, python and jdk so once uh, this is set up we need to also need to set up the java home uh, environment variable as well and uh, after that we need to set up the android development environment because uh, react native cli actually directly uh, publish your uh, apk files and uh, do the development with the help of uh, uh, java and uh, android um, sdk so we need to install uh, android sdk uh, sdk platform definitely first we need to install android studio and definitely it comes up with uh, lots of tools so we can actually download and install android studio from here and you need to set up AVD, AVD which is actually uh, Android virtual device we can set up emulator over there what kind of emulator we want to use if we are not directly uh, testing our uh, uh, applications which we are developing on our physical device so we need to install the Android SDK and uh, after the installation Android SDK we need to set up the Android home for uh, uh, for our environment variables on our uh, Windows machine 
and uh, also when we go and look into the platform tools we also need to set up this path in our environment environment uh, variables and after that when everything is set up we can actually use npx uh, react native in it so it's not expo in it it's react native in it and then we specify the project name so project will be created and after that once the project is uh, created we can actually run uh, or test on a virtual device or the physical device so it depends on that we can navigate to our project and we instead of writing npm start or expo start we write npm npx react native start command so it will actually uh, run the project so the, for the first time it will actually build the gradle which will take uh, uh, some time depending upon uh, the type of internet connection you have so if you have a good internet connection it will not take much time but it will build uh, your all the, the project complete project um, so it will uh, create once uh, the gradle build and then after that you can actually look the output of uh, your application so uh, react Native cli is a kind of uh, lengthy process you come up with uh, so much uh, errors when you are creating your uh, uh, react native cli project so you can actually uh, copy that error and then you paste in a google and you can uh, get the output that how um, uh, to solve this problem most of the problems are actually with the environment variable so i can actually go and uh, see the environment variable or i can actually just directly search over here the environment variables so I can actually edit that environment variables from here and you can see that Android home we need to set we need to set Java home and also if we go over here let's say for example um, uh, in this we also need to set up some thing in the path as well so let's say for example inside this path we need to have a chocolatey and we <coughs> also need to have node.js path set up and uh, that's the most important thing uh, which actually we need to have it over here we need to set up the path for the java as well and all the paths should be set up Python path so, so most of the time when you run the application uh, the problems are actually with the path variable so we also need to like in this case we are uh, setting up this and uh, as I discuss about uh, platform tools we also need to set up the path for this platform tool so we need to do the installation and we need to set up the environment so that's how actually we can uh, work with react native cli so that's how you set up expo cli and react native cli environment you can also run both the environments side by side it's uh, not like that that if you are working with expo cli you cannot work with react native cli so you can also uh, choose anything anytime when you are uh, doing development uh, in react native so uh, that's all about it and uh, in next uh, video uh, I will discuss that how we can actually create a project using Expo CLI and what kind of things available in uh, React Native CLI and how we can create a project and all the details and we will develop a very basic uh, React Native application and I will also discuss that how we can actually run the application for the testing on our physical device and also on emulator.